Let's talk about AI, the next big thing that everyone does not seem to shut up about. Every time a viewer would ask me about AI in architecture, I would kind of go on on a 10 minute tantrum just talking about all of the different things that are wrong about it and how it cannot be considered a viable tool at its current state. Well, that was up until today. This is the first instance of AI that I honestly see being useful for any architect out there. And that is this Veris plugin right here from Evolve Lab. Let's download it and see for ourselves. Let me show you how it works. So I've skipped over the installation process of the plugin. It's pretty straightforward. You just download it from the website, link in the video description, and you run the executable with Revit being turned off. And then once it's done, you load in Revit, it's going to ask you, would you like to load a new plugin? You agree to it. And here we are. Now in Revit, you will have the Evolve Lab tab. If you click it, there's only one button called Start, which will start the plugin. So how does this work? First of all, let's go to a view that actually is a three-dimensional view. Let's go for Approach. For instance, uh, by the way, this is just, <laughs> you all know this. You all know this. This is just a sample project from Revit, right? The typical sample project. We click on start. It asks you to sign in with your email. Sure. And then you get your trial version for 30 uh, renders that are, um, I believe, yeah, they, they limit your, the, the size of the render, right? So this is for you to test out. If you like this tool and you will want to actually use it professionally, you know, for larger files, then the pricing of it is the standard version, 34 bucks per month, which is a little bit on the expensive side, ain't gonna lie, but honestly for a company just getting one standard seat, I think that is uh, pretty reasonable considering the functionality that it has. Speaking of which, let's let's stop teasing you. So let me just type in what kind of render I would like for this. So I'll go for um, minimalist Scandinavian villa wooden. I don't know, uh, let's go for uh, steel or mm, no, let's just do this. I would like it to be in nature and I would like it to be atmospheric. Hit render and then just give it a second for it to render. So as you probably have, as you probably know right now, oh, let, let me stop that. Here is what we get, right? That is pretty impressive, isn't it? Okay, let's switch it up. Let's, uh, and now we have 29 renders left to go. Uh, let's switch it up. Let's go for um, industrial steel facade um, container house red aggressive. Let's not do atmospheric, for instance. Hit render. Did I write aggressive correctly? I think I did. Let's wait for it. There it is. Red house. It follows the exact, well, industrial style. It follows the exact uh, form or, or silhouette that you describe here with the form, meaning that, you know, it's always going to be accurate. So we can go through these kind of quick feels of, uh, of of the form of the shape to understand where you want to take the design and the renders towards right this is not by any means a final render but it's a very good start to making a final render let's uh, try the interior kitchen for some reason uh, the 3d rendering like of within uh, Revit is a little bit slow. Uh, 
there we go we have our little kitchen uh, shot right here let's not look at it the way it is let's go for shaded view something simpler and let me just uh, specify that it is interior there we go um, no nature don't need it no not atmospheric just I specify that it's an interior and what do we want with it um, minimal or do we want it minimalist retro let's let's go for retro wooden um, do we go for Scandinavian let's go for Japanese Japanese um, living room traditional I, I really want to push it with this um, stone sure let's see let's see what it's gonna give us so as you uh, can see you have limitations in the trial version of course but hey that feels Japanese to me right so I think this is very strong I think you think this is very strong and I would like to urge you to definitely play with this tool and check it out and see you know if, if this is something for you because it's definitely something for me as the last bit uh, I will invite you to check out my second channel where I will use the remaining 27 credits or renders that I have to really see the limitations of this channel channel of this uh, plugin of this add-on to just see when does it break what if we add a dog in a dog into a revit file and ask it to become a minimalist japanese tower will that work we'll see check out the the the, the link in the video description and check out the second channel <laughs> i'll see you there later